In the opening scene of Lady Bird, Lady Bird and her mother Marion were shown in a motel room, packing up their belongings. Marion is meticulously making the bed, while Lady Bird is busy tidying up her clothes. You don't have to do that. Well, it's nice to make things neat and clean. This scene establishes the contrasting personalities of the two characters, with Marion being the more organized and structured one, while Lady Bird is more carefree and relaxed. As they drive home, their conversation turns to Lady Bird's school plans. Marion pushes for the local Catholic school, while Lady Bird expresses her desire to attend a school on the East Coast. The tension between them builds as they argue, with Marion becoming increasingly frustrated with Lady Bird's reluctance to consider the local school. This argument foreshadows the ongoing tension between them throughout the film, as they struggle to see eye to eye on Lady Bird's future. In the kitchen, the tension between them reaches a boiling point when Lady Bird criticizes the way Marion has prepared her eggs. Marion, already emotional from their previous arguments, loses her temper and shakes the pan in anger. Despite their clashing personalities, their love for each other is evident as Marion still takes care in packing Lady Bird's lunch. Lady Bird's desire to apply to East Coast schools in secret is a recurring theme throughout the film. She confides in Larry, her father, about her plans, knowing that Marion would disapprove. This lack of open communication between Lady Bird and Marion only adds to the tension between them. As they continue to clash over Lady Bird's future, the tension between Lady Bird and Marion reaches its peak in the car. When they have a heated argument that ends with Lady Bird dramatically exiting the car, Marion becomes deeply distressed, highlighting the depth of her love for her daughter despite their frequent misunderstandings and intense arguments. The differences in Marion and Lady Bird's personalities and desires for the future are a central theme in the film. Marion is a traditional and orderly woman, as seen in her neat making of the motel bed and her desire for Lady Bird to attend the local Catholic school. She wants Lady Bird to follow a conventional path that will provide stability. On the other hand, Lady Bird exhibits a freer, creative spirit from the beginning. She questions Marion's need to clean and dreams of more culturally rich locations out east for college. Lady Bird wants independence to explore her interests and find herself outside of Sacramento. She doesn't see why she can't attend schools with stronger arts programs. These clashing viewpoints stem from their differing natures. Marion adheres to routines and values security, while Lady Bird embraces spontaneity and takes risks. Marion's protective nature for her daughter makes her want Lady Bird close to home where she can care for her. But Lady Bird yearns for independence in a world beyond their town. Their desires for Lady Bird's education and future life course could not be more divergent. Marion pushes responsibility and tradition, but Lady Bird seeks opportunity and self-discovery. This disconnect in what each woman wants for Lady Bird fuels their most volatile clashes. Both love her deeply, but their dissimilar personalities and visions place them at odds more often than not. Their relationship reveals how even strong family bonds can be tested when a child's dreams do not align with a parent's practical hopes. Finding understanding across such divergences is a challenge they must constantly navigate through. Marion is shown to value stability, tradition and responsibility, as a mother in Sacramento with a family to support. She understands the limitations of their means. Her priority is providing for Lady Bird, not abstract hopes or ambitions. When Lady Bird discusses loans and scholarships, Marion doubts their feasibility, knowing well the financial precautions they must take. Meanwhile, Lady Bird lives more in the realm of dreams and possibilities. She envisions attending Cart's Faust schools far from home. Lady Bird questions the status quo their town represents and yearns for independence to explore her passions. She pushes past practical constraints to what she feels she's capable of achieving with dedication. This difference in perspective causes clashes as Marion tries to gently guide Lady Bird towards feasible goals. 
For Lady Bird, Marion's pragmatism feels stifling, while Marion sees her daughter's idealism as naive. Both love each other deeply, but struggle to find common ground when discussing Lady Bird's future in these economic times. The film poignantly portrays how tightly knit family ties still must weather challenging talks when dreams confront difficulties. Finding simple solutions is rare instead, it takes constant empathy. Listening and willingness to meet somewhere between idealism and pragmatism. One of the most prevalent sources of clashes between Marion and Lady Bird stems from their diverging views on Lady Bird's extracurricular activities and influences. When Lady Bird decides to join the school play it triggers a heated debate with her mother. Marion worries the liberal theater environment will corrupt her daughter or lead her astray from her upbringing. However, for Lady Bird the play offers an avenue to explore her creative passions and developing interests. This clash highlights how Marion's desire for control over Lady Bird's influences directly contrasts with her daughter's drive for self-expression. While tensions exist, there is obvious love and emotional connection beneath it all between Lady Bird and Marion. This is evident in their interactions, such as when Marion carefully makes Lady Bird's bed, showing a deep concern for her daughter's well-being and comfort. Additionally, when Lady Bird is accepted into her top college choice, Marion is overjoyed and proud, highlighting the importance of education and academic achievement in their relationship. Despite their differences in perspectives, they share a strong bond that is rooted in their love and support for one another. Perhaps the most volatile clashes erupt from their diverging college dreams for Lady Bird's future path. When Lady Bird secretly applies to East Coast schools without informing Marion out of fear of rejection, it all comes to a head. Marion's discovery leads to a dramatic scene between where Lady Bird pleads her to listen to her and understand her. Aren't you sort of proud that I'm so close to getting in? Just a little. I mean, yes, I know it was probably easier because 9-11 and less people applying with terrorism and all that, but still, though, I'm sorry. I know I can lie and not be a good person, but please, Mom, please. As years of built-up tension over their opposing visions of responsibility versus opportunity or unleashed. For Lady Bird, the desire to break free and find herself drives keeping her plans hidden. While Marion feels betrayed by the secrecy and distrust after struggling to guide her daughter responsibly. This breakdown in communication and understanding fuels their most anguished fighting to date. In examining these different scenes and story elements, we can gain deeper appreciation for how Marion and Lady Bird's relationship navigates the complex terrain of personality. Differences, ego, love and the transition to adulthood, their journey of continually negotiating independence versus parental care remains relatable for families even today. Despite their many clashes, what ultimately drives both Marion and Lady Bird is a deep desire for understanding and acceptance from the other even as they struggle to fully comprehend each other's perspectives. Marion wants so badly for Lady Bird to understand why she pushes her towards more practical goals. It comes from a place of caring and wanting the best for her future security. But her traditional values often prevent seeing Lady Bird's individuality and creativity. Lady Bird longs for her mother to accept that she can't be confined by the limitations of their town or social status. She needs the freedom to find herself outside those constraints, but her youthful idealism makes grasping Marion's protective concerns difficult. Under it all, they both yearn to feel truly seen and supported by the other, even as mother and daughter grow into independent adults. Their clashes arise from clashing dreams, not lack of love or care. By film's end, as Lady Bird departs, but their bond remains intact. We sense progress in each gaining insight into the other's perspective. A bittersweet but vital understanding forged through struggles, this gives hope their relationship, built on a bedrock of affection, can continue strengthening through ongoing empathy, compromise and acceptance of their differences as people. Lady Bird's narrative reminds us such understanding is worth continually choosing and working towards. 
In the beginning, we see clashes born of Marion's desire to control Lady Bird's path and Lady Bird's rebellion against constraints on her freedom. Resentment festers on both sides Marion resenting her daughter's defiance. Lady Bird resenting feeling misunderstood. He sees their disagreements ignite from the school play to secret college plans. But underneath lies care for one another, if not by the film's close, it's implied through their affectionate goodbye that resentment has transformed to a bittersweet respect. Both now see the other's heart, even if differing views stay. Most poignantly, their arc shows the capacity for familial relationships built on love to withstand resentments and evolve into deeper mutual understanding. If both parties commit to empathizing with perspectives once foreign to them, the struggles were well worth it to attain this level of appreciation in the end. The complex mother-daughter relationship between Marion and Lady Bird showcased in Lady Bird is one of the film's most compelling aspects. Their relationship acts as a microcosm for the challenges many families face in navigating diverging perspectives. While maintaining their emotional bonds, Throughout pivotal scenes, Marion and Lady Bird's clashes emerge from their vastly different personalities and visions for the future. Marion's practicality clashes with Lady Bird's idealism as she seeks independence. Yet underneath their disputes lies their deep love and care for one another. Their story demonstrates how even families with strong ties must weather difficult discussions bridging hopes and realities. Compromise is rarely simple. It requires constant empathy, listening, and willingness to meet in the middle. By the film's end, we see Marion and Lady Bird have come to a place of bittersweet mutual understanding. Their relationship proves that familial bonds, built on affection, can withstand tensions if both parties commit to gaining insight into viewpoints once foreign. Most profoundly, their arc illustrates that relationships evolve through life's challenges.